everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then hi, my name is Vivian. I share food and style inspo, and as of late, wedding content creation and a little bit of how that looks behind the scenes. But I am back with another bridal series video. Today I'm going to be sharing everything that I wore to my elopement shoot. The vlog for the elopement shoot is coming out very soon. I'm in the middle of editing it right now, so it's just making me so excited to share it with you guys. Plus, if you guys follow me on my personal Instagram page at viv.hannah or my new wedding content creation page at viv.hannah underscore socials. You'll see that I'm posting all the reels and TikToks and all the things from my bachelorette weekend and then pretty soon for my elopement. So depending on when you're watching this, those might already be up. So check the description box for links for those accounts so that you guys can see those videos. If you would subscribe and hit the notification bell, I would love that. That way you guys will be notified every time I post a new video. But without further ado, let's get into it. So I actually tried on my dress with my girls at my bachelorette party last weekend. So if you guys haven't seen that vlog, go check that out. That'll be linked down in the description box. But I tried on the dress with them because there were a couple different options that I had. So now the girls have helped me decide which dress I'm going to wear to the elopement shoot and then which dress I'm going to wear to the dinner in October. So if this all sounds a little confusing, go check out my bridal series um, part one where I talk about like what we're doing, our plans and all that stuff. All right, so I'm going to insert a clip here of me trying on the dress with my girls and I'll be here talking you guys through it. So... The dress that I chose to wear is a very like vintage, almost like Bridgerton style dress. If you guys saw my previous video for the elopement plans, you guys know that we shot our elopement at the Villa del Sol del Oro in Pasadena. So it's uh, actually like a school and a private villa. So you have to like rent it out and everything but it's pretty famous, like it's in Legally Blonde and The Princess Diaries. So just given the grandeur of the venue and the old estate, like villa vibes, I definitely wanted my dress to match. So I actually found this dress on Etsy and it is basically a custom dress for you because I had to send in my measurements. An important thing to note is that it comes in two parts. So I'll link both parts down in the description box, but it's actually a corset top I can show you guys the top actually because it didn't get that dirty and in the middle of the shoot too I realized I probably could use this as a top I probably could have worn it today but this is the top it looks like this it's like a corset detailing in the front and then it's um, off the shoulder so you wear it like this there's that corset detail the sleeves the back I highly recommend this shop that I ordered the dress from because if you have any questions, if you need modifications, then she's pretty helpful. So love that. So as I alluded in my last video, I am also working with Derek Colburn Designs throughout the entire year to style their beautiful jewelry pieces. So I've been working with Derek Colburn Designs since I had my old Instagram account, if you guys know what I'm talking about. But I worked with them in the past styling their bridal jewelry pieces for every day. Like right now, I'm wearing the Blake CZ or the Blake Cubic Zirconia studs. These are my favorite everyday stud. They're just such a classic round stud. So if you guys have followed me since Jamie's Bachelorette, that was the first time that I showed you guys the Skylar Bridesmaid set. So I wore that to her Bachelorette and then I'm also wearing that set to my friend Bree's wedding in September. So I'm kind of showing you guys how to wear it to like a Bachelorette, how to wear the same set to a wedding, how to wear some of their pieces every day, and then now I'm going to show you guys what I chose to wear on my own special day. So I chose the Miley CZ or the Miley Cubic Zirconia Dangle Earrings. Here they are. They're just this gorgeous, almost like teardrop. So there's the earrings that I wore. I'll like put them up here so you guys can get the vibe. It's very feminine, but quite minimal because it's not like so chunky. Here are the earrings. Do you guys see? They're like, I think for me personally, I really liked having a dangle earring. It was just a little bit more dramatic than having the earrings that I originally picked. They were still dangle earrings, but it was a lot shorter. I kind of liked the drama and the femininity almost of this longer dangle earring. So this is what it looked like. 
And then I also chose the Zara tennis bracelet. So you guys saw this in my what I wore to my bachelorette video. So this is the same bracelet. This is what my jewelry looked like all together with like my ring and everything. The brand, everyone always asks me where my jewelry is from. You genuinely can wear these at any time all year round. So yeah, very excited and grateful to be wearing this. Moving on to some of the other accessories that I wore. So kind of along the same lines of Dareth Colburn because this is from them, although it's not part of like the collab that I'm doing, it's my veil. So this was their cut edge bridal veil, meaning like the bottom is literally just like a cut edge. There's no embellishment on the edges. I almost was going to pick the floral veil, which I'll also link that down below because I felt like that was really pretty, but I'm actually glad that I went with a simpler one because it allowed my jewelry to stand out and I really wanted to make sure that I stayed minimal, like I wasn't sure. You know, just sometimes you don't know how things are going to age and just in case I was going to regret getting the embellished one, I just figured, you know what, for the veil, just keep it really, really simple. But yeah, the veil honestly was like the perfect finishing touch. So this will be linked down in the description box for you guys, as well as that other floral veil option that I was gonna get, just in case you guys are looking for a veil. Kind of on a side note, also with my hair, um, I did take a baby's breath plant and put some florals in my hair. You guys will see that in my hair transition reel that I'm making or TikTok or whatever. Um, but I also wanted to have like flowers in my hair. I saw this inspo on Pinterest. So I definitely wanted to recreate this. So this is kind of was my vibe for my wedding hair. Um, moving on to shoes. I always knew that my wedding shoes were either going to be the actual Manolo Blahniks or an iteration of so if you guys shop on Amazon you guys will be familiar with this but just in case you're not I have to share these shoes these are the Manolo Blahnik dupes like if you grew up watching Sex in the City obviously the Manolo Blahniks are like a Carrie Bradshaw classic so I knew that whether it was gonna be like a blue heel like my something blue or the classic white I wanted to get the Manolo Blahniks but and these are don't have that high of a heel. I want to say, look, they're like only a couple inches. So it's really not that bad. It has this crystal detailing on the front, which is classic with that Manolo Blahnik look. Over the past few years, Amazon has really stepped up their game and there are so many designer dupes. These are already linked in my Amazon storefront. So I'll also have that linked down below if you guys want to see kind of my Amazon favorites. I have everything categorized into like my favorite dresses, my favorite bridal items. These are in the... I think accessories, also a new bridal category that I recently made, so go check that out. But these will also just be linked down below. So if you just scroll down on the description box, you'll see I'll put like embellished heels or something. But yeah, love these shoes. Alrighty, I think we're nearing the end of this video. The final thing that we wore before I talk briefly about Wes's outfit are our wedding scents. So I knew that I wanted to do like a wedding scent of some kind. I feel like Jo Malone is such a classic and you guys can probably guess which scent I chose for myself. But if you guys didn't know, Jo Malone is actually like unisex. I was asking them like, do you guys have colognes versus perfumes? How does that work? And she said, honestly, they're unisex. So I ended up choosing English Pear and Freesia, which I feel like is such a classic for so many people. It's just so fresh and romantic. Like obviously it's a little floral, but it's not sickening. And then Wes's scent is actually another one of my favorites wood sage and sea salt oh this smells so good you guys and i also feel like because we live on the coast i just feel like it went together like the cats on their little name tag they have a little wave on it because they were found at the san pedro port we have lived by the beach the majority of our lives so yeah i just feel like the beach the coast that'll always be like an important piece to us so i really wanted our sense to embody us and kind of like who we are and what's important to us which sounds like so dramatic for a scent but you just want things to be really personalized to you and it also makes it fun just having like a story behind things so yeah i have english pear and freesia 
and then he had the wood sage and sea salt but you could layer scents like she was saying some people put a little bit of english pear and then you could put a little bit of wood sage and sea salt on top and then finally before i close out this video i do want to mention what wes wore so wes got his tux from the groom's grotto which i'll link the vlog down below where we had the custom suit measuring appointment i really loved my experience i was recommended to use them for my friend brie who her soon-to-be husband net he did it for himself and then like all of his groomsmen so I think it's a really fun way for all of your groomsmen to come together. They have like really cute like game set up, like little like mini like golf stuff. They have obviously you could like drink and make it like a whole event. They have like a groom's grotto like wedding package where it's like you and all the groomsmen or if you're the groom and all of your groomsmen where you can set up an appointment and then everyone gets measured and then everyone can pick out like a special fabric if you want you could pick out all of your buttons and just make it as personalized as you want so i'll include a little picture here of what wes inserted into his tux so he chose because we're doing like a music theme he chose the one that had like if you can tell it has like saxophone and then i don't know if you guys can tell from the photo but in the light you can see there's um, all of this pattern is laid on top of like music notes and like a music sheet so it's just a really cool subtle little hint at music so i thought that was really fun but i really liked how everything is appointment only and so you really feel like you're a vip shopper and you're getting that personalized touch so given how busy they are during the day that you go there might be another group or two but at the most there's only like three groups at a time when we went on a sunday there was no one else there so it was actually really Really nice I felt like we had the whole place well we did have the whole place to ourselves I feel like the person who helped us he was able to focus on us let us take our time consult with each other there's like so many different choices on like what you can choose yeah. alrighty guys if you guys made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching I hope this was helpful if you guys needed some fashion or bridal or even like groom fashion ideas I really feel like everything came together so well and I can't wait for you guys to see the images and obviously the vlog on this channel so if you guys would like to subscribe then I would love it because it has been so fun having people kind of follow along with us on our journey and I said in my last bridal video but I'll say it again I'm so thankful for everyone's support and your kind messages that you're sending me I say them all on my phone and I have this little um, like album like a photo album on my phone and also the same named album on like my email account and it's called it's the acronyms for when you need to pick me up so it's like YWA blah, 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 blah. but when you need to pick me up just means like if I'm ever feeling sad or down for some reason then I go to that album when I need to pick me up and I have screenshots of when girlfriends have texted me nice things or when Wes has said something's nice or um, like birthday messages or whatever and I save all of the messages that you guys send about us and our engagement, our story, the elopement stuff, everything and yeah it just has made this whole process so much fun and just yeah like I said in the last video thank you for bringing a lot of positivity into my life because obviously that makes me so happy and it bleeds into the rest of my friends and family's lives so thank you like I said before for just making this time in our lives extra fun um, and for watching and following along and supporting us on our journey I hope this was helpful for you if you're looking for anything to wear during your bridal events um, and congratulations if you're getting married this is a really exciting time I think for a lot of us so yeah I'm just really excited to be living life right now so thank you guys as always for watching please check the description box if you guys want to shop any of these items for yourself but until next time I will see you guys later bye